this video, we enjoy the top five things to do at Myrtle's Inlet, South Carolina. I'm Morty. This is the Pelican Pod Travel Vlog. Got parking? Because if not, I don't want to go. Number five on the list. Places to eat at Myrtle's Inlet. There's no shortage and we chose Drunken Jack's to start off. The bar was quite enjoyable. Sits down below with views of the outdoors with a great selection of anything you might want to order. Now y'all, I just finished watching the TV show Black Sails and I was all about Edward Teach, Calico Jack, and Bonnie. And it turned out Drunken Jacks was based off of these characters, as well as Drunken Jack himself, who was not a pirate, but instead somebody who, no, 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 not you. You see, old Jack was left ashore to guard the rum and he became Drunken Jack. Every menu has the legend of Drunken Jack, which you can peruse as you are deciding on what it is you may want to eat, while also looking at views outdoors of the inlet itself and the creek, with the famous island where goat, no, 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 not you, where goats once were in inhabitants. And I'll briefly talk about the food that I ordered. The hush puppies were delicious. They came with just about any meal. And I also got the Boom Boom Shrimp, which is a fantastic representation of the seafood, as well as potato skins. Then the live entertainment began to play, and we sat back and listened. Meanwhile, Blackbeard was represented in paintings throughout the building, and also Old Jack was out front getting drunk, which I was able to take. I was able to take a selfie. Would you go away? Number four on the list, the Creek Boardwalk. Merle's Inlet was once a thriving shrimp town. Now it's a destination for tourists from all over the world with wonderful shops and this amazing boardwalk along the creek. Where, as you'll see later in this video, day and night, you can enjoy this beloved area. And if you're very fortunate, you may run into some of the famous ghosts, like Edward Teach, also known as Blackbeard, or the Gray Man. Meanwhile, hush puppies were reportedly perfected here, and Merle's Inlet has become a legend since 1913 when it was founded and named after Captain John Merle. While some of the history is lost during that age of piracy, there it undoubtedly has been booty buried here. Number three, the fishing pier. Merle's Inlet area is great for angling and crabbing alike. From mackerel to marlin to barracuda, depending on the time of year, sea life is plentiful. And there's a cornucopia of birds to observe, doing all sorts of interesting behavior, including eating minnows from the creek. We sat and watched from the boardwalk as the birds dove in, one after the other. And we had a good laugh comparing them to the pelican in the Rescuers movie from Disney. And that brings us to number one on our list of things to do while exploring Merle's Inlet in South Carolina. And that is a evening dolphin cruise. There are no shortage of ships that will take you out to sea to take a look at dolphins. And in the Atlantic Ocean and tributaries around Myrtle Beach, there are 49 species of dolphins, of which the common bottlenose is often spotted. And if you're in the harbor heading out to the ocean, watch for the famous UFO house. But as to the dolphins, just like pelicans, they travel in pods, and the ships will get you great views and up close. And while dolphins can swim up to 20 miles an hour and disappear at the first sign of trouble, they are more than friendly when it comes to people and the boats there to observe. Hi guys, they're off the right side of the boat right here in between us and this grass bank. Our boat took us out through the jetty into the Atlantic Ocean where we could see Huntington State Park. Where we recorded prior videos where we toured Anna Huntington's sculpture garden at Brook Green. We'll put the link 
where you can click on it in the description. And we had some fun on our way back into Merle's Inlet Port where they had a touch tank where we could handle some of the different sea life that is common to the area, including this crab. Now that's what I call an old salt. And as we came back into port, we could see the nighttime was beginning and the lights had lit up in the town of Merle's Inlet, which is surrounded by lush marshlands on the intracoastal waterway. And there's beautiful beaches, and it's just a short drive to Huntington State Park, Brook Green Gardens, and Myrtle Beach. And even though we've had our top five and gone through everything we love to do, there was an unexpected thing at the end of our dolphin tour, and that was seeing the town come alive at night with music on the boardwalk, lights, beautiful scenery, and an amazing sunset. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's the Pelican Pod Travel Vlog. Come fly with the pod. Join just by hitting that subscribe button. So if you like interesting Myrtle Beach vlogs and quirky humor, this is the place for you. You can also find us on Patreon. I'll leave you to some amazing imagery from Mother Nature. And what might just be the very island where old Jack was guarding the rum, and it's said he died with a smile on his face. Thanks so much to all our Patreons. Everybody who's aboard with us, we appreciate you so much. Until next time, see you real soon. And to the person behind me, whoever you are, whatever your story is, you are enough. Remember that. Farewell, I